This is what it looks like now at the entrance to the Jackson Planetarium. But this, developers say, is the future. This is an exclusive look at the newest design of the entrance to the reimagined space. Architects CDFL designed a new glass front entrance off of Pascagoula Street. It will adjoin the Jackson Planetarium with the Mississippi Arts Center. Inside is an atrium, a lobby, a gift shop, and a monolith staircase that leads upstairs to what the director believes is a state-of-the-art attraction. So the theme of the new planetarium is the world's first orbital museum, and so we've got a lot of uh, augmented reality and virtual reality exhibits, a lot of hands-on interactive stuff. You have to use your imagination for now. Mike Williams is the longtime director of the planetarium. He doesn't want us to show you the virtual reality rendering of the upper floors just yet. But the plans are a long way from where the planetarium started. Williams first showed us around in 2019 after flooding from a hailstorm left the aging exhibit built in the 70s damaged beyond repair. We watched the last three years as crews repaired the roof and cleaned out the past. Now, city leaders are in the last stretch of fundraising. Williams says they've raised about $9 million of their $15 million goal. Another million and a half announced just this week from the Junior League of Jackson and the Community Foundation to fill out the exhibit space. The segments of the exhibit space will focus on the history of space science, the future of space science, uh, what we call down to earth, which is basically how space science has translated into all of our lives. And on the second floor, we will have Mississippi Space Story, which will focus on everything that's happened at Stennis over the last you know, four or five, six decades. Williams says he met with Stennis Space Center this week about their partnership, lending artifacts to help tell the story of the Space Center's role in exploration. We've discussed some artifacts that they're going to give to us for display, uh, as well as some programming partnerships. They're going to assist us in uh, delivering the narrative of Stennis Space Center. Mm -hmm. And so there, there's a very deep partnership. We're actually focused on being um, the facility that can kind of tell their story in central Mississippi. Williams hopes the planetarium is welcoming its first visitors through these doors in 2024.